What up YouTube? So today I have a video for you guys. Another first impression, which this one though, I do want to do like a real first impression. This product that I'm testing out today, I've actually really wanted to try it for a while now. Um, but for some reason I just never did. I heard stories and stuff like that. So I kind of just like wanted to, but then didn't want to that bad. But today I will be testing out Lip Sense products. My sister-in-law is a distributor, so she sent me the Lip Sense products. If you've been wanting to try Lip Sense or if you have been looking for somewhere to try it out, you can check her out down below. I will put her information. She runs a Facebook page that is pretty informational to me and there's so many colors and if I end up really liking this, I would say, you know, based off of what we know about Lip Sense, that it would be super convenient. Um, but I think for the everyday, like eat with it, drink with it on and not really have to worry about it, I'm pretty keen on that. So we are just going to hop right into this. I'm just going to take this off of my lips. I am so glad she sent this to me because she also included instructions um, if it's your first time, which is really, really helpful. This is her business card. I will put it right here just in case you guys want to check her out. That is all her information. You also can get a loyalty card. So if you buy nine colors, you can get the 10th free. So I know if you don't have any lip scents to begin with, you do, they do recommend that you get the kit, but I, which I think includes moisturizing gloss and the remover, um, and then a color of your choice, whatever first color you'd pick. It says apply to clean and dry lips. I would say my lips are pretty clean and dry then you're gonna shake 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 your lip sense color so the color i got is napa it's like a, a berry um berry color <laughs> like a berry maroon color and then it has some sparkles in it i would say it's like a metallic so i'm just going to rip off the seal shake so it makes like a clicking noise and then we're going to apply three coats, wait five seconds in between each coat, make one sweeping motion from one corner to the other. Do not swipe back and forth. Do not let lips touch or rub together. Okay, you got all that? Make one sweeping motion from one corner to the other. So that means if I'm going this way, I'm only going this way. And do not let lips touch or rub. Okay. Oh, it has like a, like an alcohol smell. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Oh my God, I feel the burning. Oh my God. Okay, it's like I don't know how to swallow because I can't touch my lips. But this is one coat, and that's just touch the lips together. The color is definitely there. This feels so weird. When I so one, I think it's like five seconds. That is so disgusting. Okay. Okay, so time to gloss. We're gonna apply the gloss, then once we do, then our lips can touch. Okay. Apply the gloss. Just one time? Ooh. Okay. So I feel like when first applying it, it has this like, have you guys ever used off spray, like a mosquito repellent? It has that smell to it and it's very, it stings, 
but it doesn't burn, it doesn't hurt. The stinging probably lasts for about five seconds and then it's gone. You can see why the gloss is needed. It definitely helps to seal everything. Um, but I think it more so helps to moisturize. The gloss feels thick, um, but it doesn't feel slippery. Like it doesn't feel like it'll be moving, shifting, anything. Um, no color transfer. Just gloss. The gloss does transfer. Um, but I am going to drink the rest of this <laughs> orange juice just to see if the lipstick marks come onto this cup. It did earlier with the previous lipstick I was wearing. Nothing. For me, I am probably going to need like an everyday shade. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Um, the gloss to me is still tacky. So if you're in wind or anything like that, I'm pretty sure your hair will stick to the gloss and whatnot. And I can see why the gloss is needed because your lips would literally be like dry. So the gloss is needed, but it's... <laughs> It's very surprising that there's no color, like, like no, no color. This is actually amazing. For me, I see it as if like I go out for the day, do a face and wear a lip, don't really have to worry about it too much, like as if the wind's blowing and like color is like all here or if I'm eating and it's smudging. I, there's comfort knowing that it's not shifting. I'm actually surprised that I was like rubbing my lips like crazy and nothing came off. I know the colors individually range about 20, 25 bucks, I think, which is like, it's not a shocker. There are lip glosses, liquid lipsticks that range just that, like just as much. And it's not, it doesn't last. It's not comfortable for a full day. So you get about 0.25 fluid ounces in here, which is a lot of products because in a Kylie gloss, which is clearly taller than it, like within the contents of the packaging, you only get 0 0.09 fluid ounces in here. Can you chip me in my lip gloss? And the Anastasia lip, 0.11 ounces. And this is about 20 bucks. I do see myself buying more of these liquid lipsticks just because it really intrigued me and I do look for the longevity of things still looking like it did when I first applied it. I am going to use the LipSense Oops Remover just to see how that works. It has like a, like a vanilla scent. She also sent me instructions on how to take this off so i know you apply it and then rub lips and then you're going to use a wet washcloth to wipe it off i'm just going to use a makeup remover wipe so mm. oh it's supposed to wait 30 seconds dang it um I am definitely one of those people who just do things without reading the instructions. So I'm going to try this again. I'm actually curious to see if this is going to stain. But it does say that if the color or anything like that didn't come off, it does recommend to use coconut oil. I think this would be a great option too. It's oil based so it just does a really good job with removing makeup, period. There's still a stain but I definitely don't feel like it'll stay. I feel like when I wash my face completely, the stain will come off the lips, so I'm not worried about it. At least for me, it definitely gave me a different perspective of it. Of course, based off of other people's experiences and whatnot, you tend to not even want to try it, but I'm gonna get me some shades. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. Kept it short and sweet, I hope. If you want to keep up with me elsewhere, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at Brie K. If you want to subscribe, that would mean so much to me. I would definitely appreciate your support for sure. If you are interested in LipSense products, definitely check down below. I will list 
put my sister-in-law's links and whatnot so you can contact her for your lip sense needs. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next one.